All right, so welcome to our video. We're showing you how to set up your Roku, starting with language selection. We speak English, so we chose English. Then it moves on to the network settings. If you have a wired connection, use it. If you can't set up with a wired network, you can go to a wireless network. We've already got a connection set up, so we've got the update connection option. We're just double checking that. But in most cases, you're going to be setting up a new wireless connection. So you click on set up new wireless connection, and you see it scans for your wireless networks. And ours are stream on 5G and 2G. All the other ones are just neighbors or something. We already have our password set up in this, so that's helpful for us. But if you have to set up your password, all of your letters and numbers are available and you just select what you need and move on. Luckily, we've got a nice fast connection and it goes into auto detect display type. And what this is, is your Roku will automatically take a look at what kind of TV you've got and how powerful it is so it can set your Roku up correctly. This last step is just a final check to make sure everything looks straight. And then you move on to your power settings, which allows you to set up your Roku to control the volume and power on your TV. It starts with a program that plays music. If you can hear it, you say yes. If you can't, you say no. It'll move on to the next step where you put your TV brand in. And what we're going to type in is we have a Hisense TV. It's actually a Roku powered TV, so it's almost funny we had to make it recognize it, but there we are. It's asking about music again. And since we couldn't hear it the first time, we're going to tell it to play again, but it did. And we're all set. Now, next, we're going to move on to the steps on your computer. So, on a computer or wireless device, you know, tablet, you're going to go to Roku.com and you want to make sure that you're signed in. From here, you type in your email and password. We've already done so. So just let them know that you're not a robot or create an account if you need to. Click the box and sign in. From here, you just want to double check, make sure that it sees that it's you that signed in. As you see, it says, hi, Ryan. It's so nice. And we're going to go to activate device. And from here, you're going to put in that code that it gave you on your screen. It's not going to be the code that I had. It's going to be the code that your Roku gives you. But we're going to go ahead and type it in, T-G-Q-K, and submit. For our sake, we're going to call it the Roku Ultra Box because I have a lot of Roku TVs and things like that. It'll make it a little easier to find. This is really helpful, especially if you're going to use the app to control it. Check your boxes. And now here's an important question. If you have satellite and cable TV, you're going to select yes. If you don't, we're going to go no. In this case, I'm just going to show you what it does if you do have a TV provider. You'll see that it has a lot of the more huge ones at the top, but tons and tons of other providers in alphabetical order. So we're actually in a spectrum area, so I'm just going to select that and continue. You know, do we rent or buy movies? Sure. And so now we get to the fun stuff. If you are already a member of some of these things, Roku will automatically sign in for you, especially if you have another Roku set up. So we're going to go ahead and click those and add ESPN and continue. And here, this is a little different. This is newer. It's asking you for topics you like. So we're going to go along here and select these and you'll see later on that it's going to provide you some choices to add as far as the channel selections that you made here and of course let's be honest who doesn't want a free movie now and then so continue 
And next, we're going to take a look at the screen as soon as this guy starts turning. Turn, turn, turn. And you see, here are some channels that it suggested based on the stuff we click. Sports, news, and stuff like that. Not sure why it selected Sling TV Latino, but however, we're, we're just not going to add any of that stuff at this moment. We're just going to go ahead and scroll through, let you see it, but we're going to continue. This is a very important step. If you have an Amazon account, you can log in on your computer, which is a little easier than otherwise, and you see the Hulu already has the account linked, like I was talking about. So we are on our computer, and we're just going to type in our password. And luckily, it's already saved for us on this computer. So we're just, going, we're just going to click Keep Signed In for ourselves. You don't have to. And go ahead and allow it to connect everything together. And it says we're all straight. So we're just going to click Done and move forward. You notice it asks if you want to go to Offers. This can be pretty cool because it gives you a chance to try out some things if you haven't ever checked it out. So you can, you know, Roku has all these deals with you know free offers of this, that, and the other. It changes from time to time. You see it's Epic Showtime and Stars in the moment. We're not going to do that at the moment, though. We're just going to continue. And this just brings you back to your page. So if you need to change your payment type or you know, if you want to change your passwords, you can do it. And it'll even show you what we have connected, which... In this case, is a Roku Ultra and a Hisense TV. So next, we're going to get to the channel loading screen. And you see that it's already been going for a little bit. 46 out of 394 channels. And we're just showing you that this is what it does. We are not going to make you watch it load 394 channels because that takes a little bit of time. We've been adding channels for seven or eight years now. so. You know, Any time we do, it records it. So we're going to cut this video and move on. So now that you're all done, we skip through the 300 or so channels. And what we're going to do is take a look at the next steps that you move to. Once you're done, Roku actually has a little video. And it shows you a bit about how to use the Roku. Kind of like the videos that we do. It's nice for people just to get started. It shows you, you know, what the search does a bit. Gives you a little bit of information about the app. And even shows you how the Roku remote works. That's really cool. The most important thing to know about the Roku's remote is actually going to be the little asterisk. The asterisk is pretty much the power, that's been the control for everything. You see, you press it, it's going to pull up things. But we're going to move in, and these are the channels that we already had installed. Like I said, we had 384. But we're going to show you that when you jump into Hulu, because we signed in on the home screen, we are already in. And so that's nice. You don't have to use the menu on the screen to sign into things. If you're unfamiliar with the home screen, what you have is my feed, which is in it's movies or TV shows that you tell it you want to get more information about, and it keeps up with them and tells you when they're available. And Fandango Now for movies and TV is like a movie store that comes automatically integrated into the Roku menu over here. The TV and movie store is going to have competitive prices, but... Roku's search allows you to find the best prices on pretty much anything that's for sale. The settings menu is pretty basic. You can go through and change your screen saver, change the look of it overall. And you can even see, you know, your payment method on file, things like that. But we're going to go into the home screen and show you that you can actually hide some of those features. Feature free in the movie store. You can clear them out if you like and have a cleaner home screen. So you don't have to have so much stuff on the menu if you don't want to. I find most of it pretty helpful. 
on this section you can choose to set up your microphone so that your TV so that all of the channels on there that have a, an option for it will recognize the microphone. So we're going to say always allow and move on. Now if you look here we have all these channels, and you might think, well, how do you get all those channels? You know, my Roku only has you know, one or two that were set up in the first place. It's real easy. You're going to go down to where it says Streaming Channels, and you'll find that once you press OK, it opens up a huge menu of different kinds of options. It has those groups like, you know, most popular and new, things like that, but it's got dozens of categories that break down into multiple multiple channels and all you have to do is go through and select one it's just that easy so this is the basic setup for a roku and this applies to a roku ultra roku streaming stick they're all really pretty much the same i hope you found that helpful and if you did please subscribe I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor, and as always, stream on, my friends.